All right, so for everybody, welcome back to the Path Rage and our modded MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries playthrough. We are scraping the barrel of bankruptcy yet again with a brand new playthrough. Uh, you have to do some drastic action. We take some hits. A lot of action in this episode. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into the action. Right, and here we go. So, let's check out. We've got a new uh, contract we can do. We'll probably do that. Yeah, it's just up here. But right now, we're going to go to Columbine. And we're going to build that mech and see if we can get the engine. Let's hope. If we can get the engine, I honestly do want to put it into the urban mech. Uh, figure it out somehow. Figure it out with the weight. But... An Irby can take a punishing uh, amount of damage for a light mech. And if we can have it keep up, at least not be so slow, then it's a lot a lot better for us. So, let us see what we get. Ah! Damn. I didn't think so. Now the question is, do I want to keep it at all? Okay, four, 400,000 C-bills to repair it. Overweight. Somehow still overweight. Oh, uh, sorry about that, folks. Here we go. Uh, SRM2. Like, the, the weapons are in the legs. That's the weirdest thing. You know what? No. I'm not going to put money into this thing. I'm just going to sell it. Not... They're not... They're not worth it. They're not worth it. So, now, this guy here... We definitely need more cooling. Now the question is, do I keep the LRM-10 or the AC-10? That saves us four tons, and I actually don't mind a burst fire either. Uh, an LRM-10 to an LRM-5 only saves us three tons. But I think I need the AC-10 more for the overall damage. So, I'm going to keep that. Move the ammo down here. Drop him. Put him in there. Move the ammo down here. Uh, I'm decent enough with the armor, so now we're just going to put three more heat sinks in this. Like, to be fair, I would still like more. But anything that helps our cooling. That actually should be higher. Eh, no, it's good enough. Okay. I want to see something here. I've got just under 2 million C bills. Okay, the lowest they have is a 155. Five tons. And it's most of my money. Not worth it. Not worth it. Right now. So, pair all. Our main priority is still indeed uh -oh. to uh, replace the hunch the not the hunchback, the urban mech. Go. Oh. 
Or at the very least, get a better engine for it. Okay. So, let's go down and do this raid contract. The scripted missions always give you a decent amount of money. Early game, we're tight with the money. And resource opportunity. Let's see. We need to get a couple better mechs before we can do uh, the other resource missions we found. Uh, that's even more difficult. Can we do it? Guess we'll find out, won't we? The mission area is under heavy weather warning. It's going to affect huh? visibility and sensors. We're only 20 tons under. Ugh. Urban mech, though. <laughs> Couple more levels, though. At the very least, even if we don't replace it on our own, uh, uh, two more levels and Goblin shows up, and we'll have a right. Phoenix Hawk Seems like the to replace it. <clears throat> We've received orders to disable their communications by destroying their radio towers. The settlers may be equipped and dangerous, and we've been authorized to use lethal force if need be. Okay, let's do this. Wonder. Nah. I actually didn't mind that. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. It all depends on how enemies show up. Yeah, actually, no, I don't, because I can't see them. PPC? Pissing me off. <laughs> oh my god, it lived! No way! Ah, there it goes. Oh my, I'm about. I'm about to lose my right arm. I got it. Oh, I gotta be more careful. Sentinel's taking a lot of damage too. Oh, we need to replace this urban mech. And yes, I'm very likely gonna bitch about that until we do. my arm. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna switch to... Jesus. Oh, this is bad.
Okay, we got his AC-10 down. Nice. Nice. Target Target okay. Uh, losing that AC-10 hurts, but it is what it is. Target okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Come on. Crap. Alright, I'll take the little Herbie. Where is what I have to destroy in here? Okay, uh, switching to the Hornet and running like hell to get out of here. Oh, it looks like the Sentinel actually freed itself. Nice. We took a beating. The communication systems on the illegal settlements are now in the dark. Good job. Our work is done. Ooh, we took a beating. I bit off more than I could chew. I thought I might have. We might have to continue this after. I don't know. Suburban mech it goes 48. I'd actually take that. You get three parts of it. Five laser hard points. Yeah, we can make make something happen with this. This would be a nice mech. I mean, it's still a little slow, but it's. It's not 32. We're gonna, ah, there we go. We're going to take that. Now. Uh, we got to take a look at this. This is going to hurt. Oh, there we go. Okay. have to go to an industrial hub to do this. Yeah. That's too much money. Back to Columbine. That'd take all of our money just to fix the one mech. Hmm. better. Okay. Prepare him. Now, the thing is, can we get to our next mission without it? I guess we could do this battlefield. Or the defense. I don't know if we can get to them. No, we can't. Okay, we gotta sell some uh, parts. Sell the Vulcan parts for now. 
Cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll be able to do this exploration. Difficulty 10, maybe? We can do the battlefield at least, even though it's going up against the major houses. Oh, the early game. I do want to continue with those missions, but that is a bit more than we could chew, and I need to get some money. Let's do this one first, and we'll actually go for money. I know I could use the salvage, but... <laughs> Every time we start a new playthrough, we're skirting bankruptcy right off the bat. Here we go. Attention. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I would actually really like that suburban mech. I, yeah, I like the sounds of that a lot, to be honest. It's at least mostly useful. forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining. What do we got here? Crab and a centurion. Oh, hello. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the Ooh, I got him. Looks like he's stuck. Target share engaging. Target Why is that flea just standing there? Okay, whatever. Uh, at least it's not a haywire. Come here back. Yeah, there you go. That's some. I need to start showing my left side, not my right. Or I'm going to lose the arm again. Okay, you guys stay here. So I was looking at the video that I posted on Thursday. Uh, after I uploaded it or whatnot, comparing it to some of my older videos, I think it actually, the settings actually work better. That the, the overall output, even on the YouTube algorithm, like the compression, looks better overall than the way I had it. I hope that's what uh, you guys find as well. But yeah, it seems to just... It looks a little better. Engaging with Lance. Another Jenner. Hello. Have some. Oh. See when that... When the urban mech can get line of sight, it just pumps out fire. Get him. We'll get this guy. Target acquired. Okay. Yeah, I will stay back here and shoot you from afar. Oh. Get him. There we go. Boom. I see no need to get into range of an SRM carrier. Enemy reinforcements are spotted in the area. They look like they're heading your way. Come here. 
grab it. Mongoose. That's not a bad light mech either. 20 tonner. I don't want it at this point, to be honest. Okay, we got uh, VTOLs coming. Oh, right over his shoulder. Oh. Eat it. Oh, I did made it. Have some. Copy, Commander. Lance target confirmed. There we go. All right. We need, Commander. There we go. Stay as long as you like. The pickup is available at the extraction site when you're ready. I don't find it's worth it, especially since we didn't. Uh, we didn't come for salvage. Although, we did come for money, to be fair. We got these guys to help us. You're clear to board <laughs> at Mythbay number one. Welcome back. Target javelin. Enemy contact. Shame it's a mech. Shame it's a mech? Well, that was pretty cool that uh, even after a direct hit, that VTOL was able to right itself and keep shooting. I gotta keep an eye out for that. Okay. Yeah, it's a 25 tonner. But I mean, it's got six laser hard points. The 200 engine core. I do want the cicada parts, though. Especially this variant. Oh, that's all we take. Next. Fair star map. Uh, do we want to try this? This one, maybe? I don't think we can really do this yet. Even though this is 15, that's diff a lot more difficult as well. Ah. Got an assassination here. Let's go do that. I need to improve the lance before I, I take on the uh, the custom missions, the resource missions. We need to improve the lance a lot more. So I'm going to end up fighting for them at one point. Do this assassination. There's a ground war as well against House Leo. This time I will take shares. Jump right back in. Hopefully we'll find some more suburban mechs, but maybe not. After this mission, even even with the lance we have, we might go in and go to the next part of the, the campaign we just started. It is always fun to, to take on a bit more than you can chew at times. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, this is a cool ass biome. Yeah. What do we got first? Mm. I'm not seeing our targets at the Yeah, but location. something will be here. To the next nap point. Yeah, we there might it is. There. Oh, you dog. Yeah, it still hit him. I 
just keep getting better yes. at this. Okay. Yeah, let's go this way. And now comes the point where our urban mech becomes completely useless. That is our bottleneck, isn't it? It's too bad we couldn't have gotten that engine. Just to make the damn thing a little quicker, you know? Okay, let's go up here on the high ground and investigate this one first. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. What? I thought there was another tank around here somewhere. Target is done. Target Target destroyed. Oh, Jesus. It's a freaking turret from there, man. Shed targets engaged. Target signed. All units. Weapons free. Target acquired. We're on it, boss. Although I gotta admit, my heat is doing better right now. It's making a bit of a difference. Right in the face. Get him, guys. Dude, go. Did they get him? I don't think so. There's a Vindicator. Nice. I would love a Vindicator. Shot there too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who did he? Boom. Oh crap, I got a sh got a bloody ship landing on my head. Let's get close enough to bring Rihanna into this. 
If it does, yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Excellent. Now we got a bit more money as well. Stave off bankruptcy for a little bit. <laughs> Good. Here we go. Now, this is going to be a mostly action-packed episode, I think, aside from that little bit of building we did at the beginning. Just because until we get another mech, we're going to keep running what we are. Ooh, okay. We got some good stuff here. We got a mask. I did say I wanted to try putting a mask into the urban mech, didn't I? Much as I'd like some Endo and a Guardian ECM. Hmm. That's a terrible, terrible vindicator. I know, yeah, I know. Okay, so the question is, do I take the mask? Because I don't think I have one. I don't. I can't recall. Do I take the mask? Put it in the Irby. So it goes a bit faster? Or do I take these, which would be a hell of a lot more helpful overall, but... Mask. Gotta do it. Battle tech. Battle mix. Now watch, I already had a mask. Okay, no I didn't. Put that in there. We're gonna get rid of these jump jets. There we go. Now, this will give it more speed. Gives it a 50% speed boost. It still won't be fast, but for crying out loud, any, anything at this point will help. Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay. Let's... You know what? I'm gonna try it. Warzone contract. Here we go. Maybe we'll get the suburban parts we want. Resource opportunity? Nice. Level is it? Level 9? Okay. So once, once we get a little bit better in the mech side, we've got a bunch of resource missions to do in here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do this. Do salvage and then money. Pardon. I'm gonna give him the hornet. I think he he'll be better with this mech. Okay. Let's see how that urban mech does now. Let's see if it keeps up even a little bit. Because, I mean, I'm piloting a 64 kph mech myself. It's not like I'm super speedy. And now we're just going to wait wait for them to come to us. Okay, 
Since we're already in the system, we've been tasked with holding off and taking out as many Davion units as we can. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Actually, okay, that worked. He's going a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, he might actually be semi useful. Vector to the commanders requested. All right, fair enough. Holding an app point. Relocated, Commander. Although, to be fair, I do still want the suburban mech. Okay, where are we here? Go for this bad position. boy. Fortunately, we just gotta wait for them to come to us. We don't have to worry about protecting the base. Oh, hello. Ah. Die. Oh! He almost recovered from that! Boom. Okay. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. Let's see what they bring against us now. Whoa, there's a mech right here. Okay. Little hornet. Oh, that's way better. Wonder what he actually does do. Wait a sec. I don't remember how to engage it offhand. But there, he's going faster than when I was in it. I might not have the key bound properly. Focus target received, Commander. I would absolutely love a hatchet, man. Right, and this early in the game? Absolutely. Give, give me. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. Absolutely give me a, a hatchetman. That would be great. Ah. did hit it, actually. There we go. I wasn't going into the ravine. Although I may end up having to. I hate it when any of the maps have that. Five more enemies. There we are. Of course, they're in the ravine. Moving on launch target. I wouldn't mind the ravines quite so much if it weren't for the fact that the AI really doesn't like them. So they end up getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> target acquired. 
You know, let's I'll send my guys for them for that one and I'll go for this dude. Now you watch the uh the Hornet will go up there and try and face tank an SRM carrier and just get annihilated. After he dies, Enemy destroyed. all right, one of them's a plane. You guys go after him. Now. Yeah! Oh, come on! Did I seriously dust that? Have it right in the teeth. Shadowhawk, yes, please. At this point in time, absolutely. However, I am definitely going to want the rest of my team around me for that. We'll go help with the Hornet. Let the Shadowhawk come to us. Just four of my me, guys. Our last, last boy, and he's a big boy. At least comparatively so. So we want him to get shot as far away as possible at first. Got him. Boom. Have it. There we go. Where is the evac zone? Let's switch to the Hornet. And run, Forest. See, the super light mechs are good for something. <laughs> Speedy escapes. Unfortunately, no suburban mech parts. However, putting the mask in the urban mech did seem to make a noticeable difference. It was at least present and firing more often. Still not anywhere where I would like it, but... I'll also have to remember after this episode to check the, um, the key binding I have for turning on a mask. Okay. Do I want Shadowhawk part or do I want a Hatchetman part? I think between the two it's a Shadowhawk. Could go for another Wasp part and again try and get another uh, another engine out. There we go. Oh, nice. Ah, tier zero. Two double heat sinks, though. I'll take that. And excellent. 
Goblin and his hero mech are here. And this is the mission. Uh, those in need. This leads to getting the hatchetman. However, I think it's like a million miles away. Yeah. We won't be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is a good a good mech out the gate. But I'll end up um Oh yeah, we got to paint it appropriately. Paint mech. Whoops. Yeah, paint mech. I'll like none. That one. That's a great paint scheme, man. Just randomizing colors that came across this. This is dope. Okay, um but yeah, he's got a large laser, two medium lasers, and two SRM fours. I'll end up taking out the jump jets just to put more armor on him. But Ah. Now we'll definitely be able to do some of these resource missions. However, that'll be for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Give me a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you don't. Let me know your thoughts overall in the comments. Uh, help me beat the algorithm by subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, I've been Rageth Games. Bye-bye.